good morning one and all and once again welcome to the video this weekend or sunday i essentially plan to do a small project video for you guys so the goal of the project here is to develop a very simple music application as you can see a very simple app right um, it, it it uses s3 and cloudfront distribution right to host the media content so can play music go back right i can play this one as well i can set the volume right um, i can essentially download and essentially playback speed i could set all, all these things right so the goal is to develop this application uh, so i'm going to show you um, uh, how to do this uh, uh, on aws right so essentially uh, i just want to show you how you can host the media contents uh, through s3 and cloudfront right so let's get started guys i'm excited so the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to create a bucket so type in the name whatever name you want to give then click on create bucket i already have done that so i'm not going to do it again now once that is done guys now we need to go to the cloudfront distribution uh, here you can type the name of the bucket or you can choose from the drop down uh, whatever bucket you want to use right use that and then once you do that now this is important uh, you have to click on yes use oai and then you want to click on yes update the bucket policy and if you do not have just click on create automatically it will uh, create a new oai for you once that is done just click on create and your cloudfront distribution should be ready at this point so now if it is ready you will see a domain name that is assigned to uh, it and then you will have a status call enabled now remember uh, once this is done you can come here and test it out so now for example purposes what i have done is uh, on my s3 i have dumped two uh, items to m3 files and if you see uh, you know you will see this policy here that has been added uh, from the cloudfront right i have an added it cloudfront has added it right uh, so now if you go back to the object and if you come click on the member of one of the objects and if you try to access you should see access denied uh, now but if you go to the cloudfront distribution and then if you try to access the key uh, come on i think i forgot so works right great so that's that so now what you want to do is once your s3 is set up and your cloud front is set up now uh, the front end code is very very simple right so i'll show you what i've done so these are all the list of cdn that i have imported right so nothing uh, crazy here i'm planning to use handlebar js for this tutorial so what i have done is um, first of all i'll show you the data structure i have a simple uh, list of objects uh, so as you can see source name image and description right so i have all these um, uh, objects the, the the source of that um, the image uh, the name of the song right i have that now what i'm doing here is i'm using handlebar js it's it's a simple template uh, engine that allows you to inject um, items right so as you can see um, i have a simple div tag and i'm essentially creating this component uh, uh, right so i'm saying dollar each audio audio means it's going to come here it's going to grab all the item now if i open this up what you would see is uh, i'm injecting as you can see with double curly braces called image this means that inject the value uh, inject the value uh, ima uh, value of the key image right so the image would be inserted there uh, similarly i inject the name and the source here as well as you can see very easy nothing um, crazy here so just collapsing this for a better view purposes so now as you can see i'm rendering these cards right now uh depending upon how many columns you want to uh, view on your website so if you want to have uh eight songs uh, in a so you if you want to in a in single row if you want to have eight songs you could say column lg8 or oh, sorry column lg2 it's a bootstrap uh, rows and column uh, right so you could easily format this based on what you need right uh so th that's that right so so essentially uh, all this html is been created and it's going to be injected over here okay so the way we do that is uh, i have a by the way a handlebar js tutorial so if you want to check handlebar js check it out so as you can see we compile the template um, as you can see this is my template so it's going to compile my html right and then this html gets injected over here which means i'm saying that hey inject all the html over here so everything gets injected over here in this section um so that's pretty much it man so so um let me remove the st statements now 
if I come here and if I simply refresh, right, I would see my 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 um, uh, files here, and these are being hosted by S3 and CloudFront. So if I come here and play, amazing, right? Simply mind blowing, right? So now um, remember, if you want to add um, geographic restriction, you can come here, click on edit, and then say block list, block from China or Ukraine or whatever you want to do, uh, Russia or India or US or any other country. If you want to block, you can block um, that using uh, geographic restriction. Now, what you can also offer is here. Um, so this is a very simple how you can take these things to next level, right? So. What you can do is essentially you can um, you know host your website on S3 again. Uh, then essentially, you can have your cloud front, and then you can essentially have a do custom domain name, and then you can host all your uh, media items in S3. Now, if you want to develop a full-blown search engine, I would say store all the meta information on Elasticsearch. For example, title name, album, uh, album duration, all of that, right? And then also the corresponding vectors. Now, when the user say, I'm looking for, um, you know, like jazz, what you can do is you can convert this into a vector, perform cosine similarity, and return all the object keys, uh, in uh, all the object keys, right? So now, uh, in this case, you know, uh, when you say, let's say jazz, the user is going to return, Elasticsearch is going to return uh, member and Rajna uh, keys, right? Now, what you do is uh, you append that with your cloud front domain, and then you essentially serve on your website, right? So you can develop a full-blown search engine using this approach, right? Uh, very amazing, right? You could do that. Um, uh, then you can develop, for example, let's say usage plan. So if you want to... Um, uh, have the customer paid for that you can show them like first three music or and then the rest of are the like a premium service so you can build a full-blown a payment system or you can use stride to do that right so that's that right but as you can see the possibilities right so that's that if you want you could develop a search engine where you users can search across your music and get the best possible music they can rate the music you can store all this rating then you can develop a ranker system and rank all the videos accordingly and show what's the most popular video a lot can be done guys seriously but i'm just trying to show you the tip of the iceberg right um so using you know uh, what I'm trying to show you is having things on cloud makes it very, very easy. And um, now if you are trying to do security for your website, you can implement WAF on the, on the top of that. So it's more secure and your backend could be completely with API Gateway Lambda hitting Elasticsearch and grabbing all the similar items. So everything is completely serverless, completely on AWS. And this is how you can develop simple, simple things, right? So I hope you have really enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave the little the source code of the front end and essentially uh, whatever code I have, I'll leave it down. I'll, I'll leave it in the description section below so you can check it out. But yeah, this is how easily you can make, um, you know, uh, um, stuff on AWS, right? So, but yeah, if you have any more questions, list your question down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, yeah, I would say, please try this out, go, Put some files on S3 and see if you're able to do the cloud from put, try your um, website, try to make a simple HTML and see if you're able to do things. All right. With that being said, guys, keep smiling, keep learning. I would see you guys next time.